a story supposedly about Bruce Lee. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Birth of a Dragon. It's a 2017 movie, but it just got on Netflix. And I wanted to check it out because it's about Bruce Lee and I wanted to see some some fighting. Uh, basically, in 1964, Bruce Lee fought this Shaolin master, Wong Jackman. Uh, they say because Lee was teaching Kung Fu to Westerners. Um, it's based on that fight. Um, in this movie, Bruce Lee is kind of the villain in his own story. He's really a douchebag. Um, you know, he's training the, these these people and he's doing movies he's trying to do movies and everything he's he's he allows them to be in the movie but the way he just talks to them it is horrible like he gives them little tidbits here and there about their kung fu you know technique and their style but it's a lot of insults a lot of sarcasm and everything he just comes off really bad uh the movie is not very long but they to extend the story of this fight they had to sprinkle in um this fake love story um, between Steve, who's a, a student of Bruce Lee, and this girl who's like a working servant girl. Um, and it it doesn't make any sense, really. Um, so uh, the Shaolin master, Wong Jackman, he comes to San Francisco and he says he's there to observe, you know, Kung Fu in America and everything like that. But in reality, he kind of got in trouble and he's being punished in a way, you know, so he goes and works in like this restaurant washing dishes and stuff. Steve comes across him and he wants to be trained by him and he keeps asking him stuff. Essentially, Steve is like the middleman between Bruce Lee and, you know, the Shaolin master. And it's just Steve going back and forth, sending messages. And he kind of wants the Shaolin master to be his master now because Bruce Lee is not really giving him the time of day. It's all about Bruce. Like I said, he really comes off as a jerk in this movie for about an hour and 10 minutes. It takes him a long time to change, um, essentially. But Bruce Lee feels threatened by this guy. He believes he's there because, you know, Bruce is teaching Kung Fu to all these Westerners and he, he wants to stop him. So Bruce is, he just feels threatened. He's like, yo, I'm going to challenge this guy to a fight. Let's fight right here in front of all these people. And Bruce is a showman. In this particular, you know, movie where he's trying to get Kung Fu off the ground in America. So he's he wants to have a big fight in front of the audience and everything. Um, eventually, the Shaolin Master agrees to have the fight and they fight. It's not the best looking fight. It starts off really cool. And then a couple of like sequences. It's just it looks terrible, you know, and, you know, they have that moment, you know, that. That moment that happens in movies where they, you know they look at each other and it's like that respect factor you know they 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 got it um aside from that the other fight scenes they were okay they, they were decent i really enjoyed the last fight scene more than anything that was that was fun i wish it was more of that um but this movie just i don't know it just felt bad for like bruce lee i, I was expecting a different type of story um by the end of it it was like okay he he sort of changed the way he is um, but in terms of like just enjoying it, I was disappointed because they they put that love story in the middle of it. And they, we were spending time with Steve and the girl and stuff like that. If it was just all like focused on the fighting with a little bit of real life stuff, kind of like like Ipmon was, you know, a lot of fighting. But then, you know, he had real issues going on um, and not like a, just a love story. Um, this was kind of bad. You can skip it. It wasn't anything special on Netflix. You know, I know it's up there in like the top 10 or everything, but... Nah, you don't need to watch it. Uh, Birth of the Dragon. If you've seen it, please let me know what you thought about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. This is...